Hello, welcome to Yard Lane and my uh, Granny Square jumper shop. Oh no, is it fantastic? But before we go on about this and everything, oh uh, no, let me let me show you a picture first. Spot the difference, right? Spot the difference. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I don't see any difference. My swimmer's body. I'm like the boy that's bouncing in the harbour that you attach your ship to, aren't I? Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, welcome to Yarn Lane. I'll just show you the website because there are ways you can get in touch and I want to show you what's available during the hour because I know a lot of you want to come and go or just get it and then... Because there's no demonstration today. It's just a roundup of kits today. Uh, and it's kits you've been waiting for. Now, these haven't been available since the last show. They haven't been on the website or anything because they all sold out. We've just got them all back in again for you. But look, if you go to Yarn Lane, www.yarnlane.com, and then click on watch live, watch the show live. You'll see me up there. Next item coming soon, because there hasn't been one yet. Scroll down the page. Right, everything at the moment is in pre-order. Oh, it's a bit mix and match, look, because there you've got your Anna Nick, right? And then all your granny jumpers, square jumpers are coming down there. So it's mix and match. So the ones I'm doing are Adventures in Crafting, or you've got the Anna Nick. Anyway, and we've got some books and everything like that. So if you want to buy those, you just add to your basket. If you've already bought something from Sewing Street this morning, you've already paid your P&P. You don't need to worry about that. Um, but you can do that. Or, or Now, as soon as we introduce something, it will there will be a left-hand column and it'll say today's things from today's show. So you can still buy from the website, but they won't be in pre-order anymore. They'll be on the other side of the screen. You can uh, ring the call centre. You can, because uh, it's a different phone number. 0800 4 700 600 is your Yarn Lane phone number. Um, and Or you can buy on the web, very, very easily on the web. Um, and so welcome, welcome. You can also send messages. Oh, actually, you can send messages. Uh, you can email studio at yarnlane.com, studio at yarnlane.com. You can do the Facebook page, which I'm on right now. Uh, Morag says, hello, I'm sitting knitting a hedgehog for my granddaughter's birthday. Hayley says, I'm crocheting Easter bits. And Claire says, good afternoon, John. So that's how you send a message on Facebook Live. But you can also, so, uh, uh, if you go to the website, I won't do anything, we won't go back to the website now because we haven't got time. But when you go on where the Watch Live was, click on Watch Live and on the right-hand side, the Send a Message. And you just click on there. And that's when a white box comes across the bottom of my screen there. Right, so shall we start? Do you love these? Do you absolutely love these? When we had these in, oh, they're already selling. When we had these in with Sam, who owns Adventures in Crafting, we had a sellout show. We had a sellout show. They've not been available again until today, right? So this is it. Now, um, I'll, I'll go through this one. This one here is called Black Retro, I think, isn't it called this one? Black Retro, that's this one. So I'll go through this one. Right, the first day this was demoed, 17th of February. Was that the one with me or did you do it once before with me? Oh, I wasn't on that show. I wasn't on that show. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, so the very first one was 17th February. In a minute, when we open the auction, I'm about to tell you when I was on with it. So what you get, you get the little calico bag, and in here you get all of this. Is it in the right place? There you go. Let's just move that one out of the way. There you go. So Oh, the 17th was me. 17th of February was me. Oh, that's a big, um, the yellow one's bigger than all the rest. Right, hang on. Look, 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 look. You get all of this for 34 99 There's another aqua there. They're made up of the circle within a square, granny uh, square. Right, okay, so you don't get a crochet hook, right? But you do get all of these. Now, these are double knit... 50 gram balls, 100% premium acrylic. The yellow ones are bigger than that. They're 100 grams. That's because normally, in the, when we did it before, I think you got four yellow ones and you just get the two big yellow ones. You get three aquas, you get two reds, you get three emeralds, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six black, and, the, and your instructions there. Oh, there you go. Look, it says six black, three turquoise, three green, three red, and they've changed it to two yellow because it used to be three yellow. 
Right, now the kits contain enough to make the extra large size, which is this size. 8 to 22, 8 is the smallest. So this, this, this will cover sizes 8 to 22. But I, I well, I'm sorry about that. There was like a galloping pony coming across the set then. Um, can I just say to you, the way you make it bigger is you just stitch, it's explained in here, you just stitch another uh, row down the sides there. Or if you want to make the sleeves wider, you just literally make another row of them to go down the sleeve there. Um, so if you just pop, look at this again. So you just look at that there, then that's all your instructions. You don't get the glasses, obviously. Look, fantastic pictures all the way through it. It's a circle in a square. Oh, there's your pieces. Look, there's your front, your back and your sleeves. Oh, sorry, I didn't hold that very well. You do need a three, oh, here you go. You need a three millimetre and a four millimetre crochet hook to do these. I think what you do is, isn't it um, one to do the square and then one to do the 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 binding around the outside. Do not reproduce it for your own personal use only, just so you know. Right, so there you go. Okay, I'll show you the crochet hooks here. So I've got a three. Oh, these are nice. Not seen these before. Clover ones. So that's your size three clover one there. So you need a three and a four. I'll tell you what though, if you're taking up crochet, I'm going to show you something else in a minute. So there's the three. I don't know why I've got that one. Then there's a four. There is a three and a half as well, if you want a three and a half. Here, I'll show you the three and a half very quickly. There's your three and a half. The instructions say you need a three and a four. But I suppose it depends on how, te how tense you are. Not how tense you are, but the tension of your... Um oh, Catherine's watching. Catherine Wright's watching. I'm on with her on Friday. She suits you. Susan says, afternoon, John, watching the show before I finish off the household jobs, then knitting time. Oh, right. Do you know what? Can I show this first? If I was go into crocheting, I'd get this. Oh, hang on. There we go. Got a lovely um, loop on the zip here, isn't it? But look. There's all your different sizes. That's what I say. It's got a lovely ring pull on the zip there. So it goes from a size two to a size six. Just lovely to have, aren't they? That'd be a lovely gift to somebody, wouldn't it? If you knew they loved doing crochet. Twenty six ninety nine. Right, let's get back on with these um, kits. Loads of people buying these and checking out already. This one is very, very popular. This is the one, the retro, uh, retro, black retro. This one's called. Right, hang on a second. Now I'm going to put them all in here. Yeah. What are you saying? That I looked like Tom Daly when I was 18 as so well. Never. I was, skin, I was as skinny as him at one point in my life. I remember being really skinny. I had a 28-inch waist when I was doing my A-levels. Right, OK, so which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go not by what's up behind me. I'll tell you which one's up behind me. I'm now going to do blues. Blues, which is obviously this one here. Right, on pre-order, this is the most popular so far. So you get your Air Force Blue, quarter of the stock of these has gone already. You get your Air Force Blue, you get your lovely pale sage green. Oh, it is called sage, it is called sage. Then what colour do you reckon that one's called? Sax, that one's called. <laughs> so I said sax, antique blue, antique blue, that's me. Antique blue, that's a nice colour, isn't it? What colour is that? French navy. That's another sax. Oh, and then French navy must be your background colour. Look. To what? This one here. French navy is your main colour. So it's behind me here. It's this one here behind me. Oh, there you go. I've got a still of it. There you go. So again, you don't get a crochet hook, but you get all that wool. Yarn, sorry, yarn, because it's 100% acrylic. Premium acrylic, acrylic, six French navies, three antique blue, three sage, in brackets green, three sacks and three denim. Oh, Hannah, I know what I need you to ask you to do. For when we're in next, can you call up the half metre piece of misty blue, please? Yeah. 
Only because there's been a whole thing on the Facebook and I just want to explain it, that's all. Not today, obviously not today, that's the next time one. Right. No, there's fewer than 20 of the blues already. No, I don't think Sam can put these kits together quick enough for us. They, the speed, they go out the door. And I mean, that, that's fewer than 20 already and we've only been on air 10 minutes. Eight, 15 now, 15 now. That's how fast they're going. Right, so the next one is called Brights. Now, you'd think this one would be Brights, wouldn't you? But it's actually, is it that one there? I think the one right at the end there. No? Oh, is it that one? Oh, sorry, I have to call that one Brights. It's that one there. Yeah, yeah, put the shirt up then. Oh, look, now yours will be nicely packed, obviously. I didn't blooming well touch it. Thank you, blaming me. Yeah, no, 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 there it is, there it is. Now, I'll have a word with Sam. I wouldn't have called that one bright myself. I would have called that mermaid. Because mermaids love wearing um, granny squares. Yeah. <laughs> So, you get three Platinums, you get three Orchids, you get three Petrol Greens, you get three Sacks, all oh, Sacks is very popular, and you get two Purples in that one. I'll put those in shot, there you go. So that's that one there. And it's the one here, obviously, hanging behind me. Sorry, I, I got the wrong one, it's that one there. Mermaid, in my, I'd call that Mermaid. Oh no, have you bought another bed? So yeah, but you only bought a futon about six weeks ago. So where's the bed in your bedroom going then? Okay, so Hannah's had a bed delivered today. F forgot she'd ordered it for tomorrow. Thought she'd ordered it for tomorrow because she's off tomorrow. The neighbour has just rung saying, oh, I've got your bed in my living room. That's going to be fun. Oh, they don't deliver upstairs anymore, do they? You have to do it yourself anyway, so... I know I ordered so I wanted to order something for my house. It was going to go upstairs. And they said, oh, I know it was a new Indian cupboard. And they said, uh, they'll only drop it to the curb. And I was like, how am I supposed to get it in then? Claire says, I'm a quarter of the way through the spring one, really enjoying making it. Well, should I do spring next then? I'll do spring next then. This must be spring. Spring, here we go. This one's spring. Oh, now Sam Sabido. She's put a knot in this one. <laughs> Challenge Annika. Except I can't, I can't. What, Jean? There you go, there's the colourway. No, Tony, who's Tony Hawk? He's a skateboarder. Okay, that's a, there we go. Oh, these are lovely colours. This is the one Claire's making. Right, I won't get them all out because you get six creams. You get six of these, three lilacs, three sky, three sage, and three rose. There's a lot, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen balls of wool, of blue yarn you get in that one. Or oh, in all of them, obviously. And that's this one. That's pretty, that one, isn't it? That's very popular, that one. That's the one that Claire's making. She's a quarter, only a quarter of the way through, so she must have done one sleeve or one front or something. Okay. Oh, my word. Okay, now there's 22 of those left, but we started with more of those. So it's only 22 of those left. And uh, you may have thinking, oh, 22, that's loads. It, well, it isn't. I believe, to believe me, it isn't. Right, I'm now moving on to nature. Super nature. They call what? Oh, it's the one I want to call brights there. That's that one at the end there. Okay. Do I have a still of that one while I get all these out? Actually, do you know what? I should literally just get one of each colour out, shouldn't I? That would be more sensible. Just don't mind me muttering away to myself. Mm. 
Right, <laughs> imagine if somebody just flicked through the channels. Right, so you get six koala. Oh, hang on. No, you don't. Three koala you get. Yeah, well, hang on, I've got to get this right. I haven't got a koala. Um, but if it's th six, do you reckon, what, what do you reckon, which one do you reckon it is? This one. Is that the main colour? Yeah, it's called uh, ferret. <laughs> There's a lot of difference between a ferret and a koala. Yeah, maybe because they're bigger balls. Oh, it is slightly lighter. Look, let me just show you. It's slightly, can you, could you want me to bring the, the jumper in? Oh, you can do it, can you? So that's koala. The, the main one is made of koala. This is ferret. That's the colour you're going to be getting. Get larger balls, so you get three of those. Three mustard. Well, actually, no, you get two mustard because they're larger balls. Nobody's altered this one, have they? Three sage. I know that one. Three sage. Three rust. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Three rust, three rust, three rust. And four tote. There's your four taupe there. No, 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 no. Three, I wonder why there were four when the three of everything else, but four taupe. So you get, so let's just go through ten. Don't get, don't get koala in this one. You get three balls of ferret. I knew an actress called E Ferret once. Three mustard. We don't get three mustard. You get two large mustards now. Three sage. Three rust. And four taupe in brackets, beige. And that'll make, it'll make a slightly lighter version of that one. If I had time, you see, I should really have put a, done a granny square in prep this morning with a different colour, shouldn't I? I'm nearly there. Righty ho. So ferret, not koala in that one, remember, ferret. There we go. Okay, I've got one left to do, which is this one. Summer. Summer, that's this one here. This one here. Now, I think that you, I think that wh whoever made this one did different colours at the bottom. I think you meant, you don't have to do that. You've got enough uh, yarn knit to do the, the, the colours of your choice. So here we go. Oh, I love the colours in this one. That's rose, I think, isn't it, that one? Oh, no, carnation. Oh, get you, carnation. Fuchsia. If little Paul was here now, he said, order it today, get it in the fuchsia. Um, oh, sax. Now, sax is a very popular colour. Then in this one, sky. And is that going to be sage, that one there? Yeah, sage. Right, so in this kit, I haven't got them all out. Six sage, yep, six sage, just checking they're all there. Three sacks, three carnation, three fuchsia, and three sky. And your instructions, obviously. I remember you need a three and four millimeter crochet hook for that. There it is, that will make that one. Now you don't have to do the blue at the bottom and the pink on the sleeves. You can do whichever of the colours you so wish. There's enough of all of them to do that. Lovely. Now, when we did this last time with me, we didn't have the blocker in stock. So what date have they done the blocker? On the 3rd of... February, you say? 3rd of February is, this is the block, this is basically a bit like that, the, the block, um, the June Taylor for when you're doing um, quilting blocks, but this just, you just, uh, oh, what am I trying to do? Stretch it out and steam it to make it into the shape, because obviously it might um, be a bit curly, but this, we came in stock once and it absolutely flew out and we just got it back in now. See, of course the stock's gone already. Okay, 
Uh, before I go to the books on this side, please, if you've got that in your basket, check out, they're flying out. They're absolutely flying out. How much was it? Twenty seven ninety nine. It's a good little buy, that, from Millwood. I bet that's Beechwood. Oh, hang on, it'll tell me here. No, it hasn't. Has it got what? No, that's the cardboard box out there. Oh, inside, inside, you mean? Because I, I'm, it's not open. Oh, oh, Hannah thinks it's plywood. Yeah, 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 because it's lots of layers of... Oh, look at you, Mr. Uh, yeah, useful for all sorts of things, not just these jumpers. 12-inch square, anyway. Right, the most popular of the jumpers are... Blue! That's this one. I'm not going to show you the whole... I'm not going to unpack it, don't worry. 34.99 for the whole instructions and all the yarn that you need. There it is. Oh, no, single figures already. Oh, Sam will be happy. She'll be at home watching, or in working watching. Yeah, Sam, we need more blue ones. We need more ones. And what's the other bestseller? This one. This one. I couldn't see it. No, no, because I'm so fat. I couldn't turn around far enough. I didn't realise behind me. That one. So that's the other bestseller, thirty-four ninety-nine. That's spring. Oh, it, which is the one that um, Claire said she was making. Oh, right. Okay. So please be careful. There's only uh, teens. That could mean nineteen. It could mean thirteen. I don't know. Yeah, she's vague. Somewhere between thirteen and nineteen, there are of those spring ones. Right. Review from FIFO. Go on then. Oh, it's not from FIFA, obviously. I saw Sam explain how to make it so well. No, yeah, I saw Sam explain how, that I bought two, and I'm happy crocheting my first ever jumper. Oh, Anne, that's fantastic. Let us know how you're getting on. Which colours did you get? Oh, no, she, she's not watching. She's not watching. That's not a live one. That's just one that she put on. You can do, now, the, what will happen? It was 20 days ago, so she may as well be not still watching. <laughs> Not everybody gets asked to review things. It's just a random thing. And you'll get an email saying, did you write recently buy from Jewelry Maker? And you'll go, no, delete. But actually open it up and it'll be your recent purchase from Yarn Lane or from Sewing Street. And then you can leave a... And, and, they, and then Hannah's new favourite things and the numbers come up at the bottom there in a minute about how many people have done it. That's not just us. That's Yarn Lane and Jewelry Maker and everyone that's under our umbrella. And FIFO is independent, nothing to do with us. We're not allowed to have any say in it or doing it, that, you know. But this message isn't a FIFO one. This is a message someone's just sent in. Hello, John. I've just completed my first knitting project from Yarn Lane. It is the gorgeous Love Sheep cushion, which looks amazing. Now, do I say that Karen? Or Siren? Siren. Siren, I think I'm going to call you. Uh, Karen from Hertfordshire. Isn't that the one you bought for your mum? Oh, oh no, the love sheep was one I had on the other day. It was a sheep made up of hearts, wasn't it? Hannah bought, not the love one for her mum, she bought the one with the sheep and then two black sheep and the white sheep and everything. Oh, it still hasn't been delivered yet. No, 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 it's been delivered to Hannah. Hannah hasn't delivered it to her mum yet. So that's fine. Yeah, in a minute she'll be watching her. So where is it then, Hannah? Where's my thing? It's here, Chaz. I'll get her to sort it out for you. In fact, I've got to go. It's not actually in this building. <laughs> yeah, bye. It's not in this building. It's in the building. It's gone to the office, you see, Shaz. So I've got to go for a meeting at some point this week. It'll be, it'll be socially distanced with my screen on and everything like that. No, that's not a screen, is it? What's that called? Face mask. Uh, visor. I wear a visor when I'm here. Um, so I can collect. I could, if you know where it is, I'll, I'll collect it. Well, I've got two books here. I love both of these. I don't know which one you're going to buy. The Granny Squares Trenty Crochet Projects with a Vintage Vibe. No, you wait till you see these because you think of Granny Squares. You think, oh, just one, it's just one thing and that's it. I did, definitely. Right, there you go. Oh, no, that's not even what I thought was a Granny Square. Oh, well, that's not a Granny Square. That's got a flower inside it. So don't worry about that one. Look! These are all granny squares. I love the hexy. 
So now this is the one my nan used to make. That's the one my nan used to make there. Yeah, because she used to make blankets. Look, look. Now you see, I've got a stool like that in my bedroom. It's oh no, I've got a crochet one. I need the crochet to go on the top. I've got a stool with, uh, I tell you what it's got, it's got all the books that people have bought me recently that I haven't read yet. You know, like a bedside book club. Uh, notebook cover, star coasters, string shopping bag. You see, my mum used to have one of those. I like this one. This is a felted flower bag. Oh, pfft. You see, when I've, got my, when I've got my static caravan by the sea, you'll know it's mine because there'll be one of those outside. No, you can't stay there. They're a bit small, a bit small. No, no, I mean, as in the bedroom walls, I think are only made of very fine plywood, aren't they? No, you're not staying in my bedroom, but you're in your bedroom, you'll be, because it... <laughs> Hexagon, now, if you do make a bath mat, please be careful it doesn't slip on your wooden floor. Look, aren't these beautiful? Oh, you don't often see that, do you? And oh, you see, now Hannah likes that. I was about to say, where's the colour? Look, I love that. I think that's beautiful. Double bed or sofa blanket. Oh, hang on. Oh, you've gone onto there already. Bolster cushion cover. I was still on the cube storage seat cover. Right, that'd be lovely. I'd like to give to a nurse, wouldn't it? Are they mug? Are they? Oh, yeah, say mug cozies. Do the rainbow one, you see, for a nurse or a medic. Traditional cushions. Right, so there are all the projects. And then in the book here, everything you need to know, the drawings of the stitches, the size of the hook you need, Yes, I, I like that as well. Well, they're all, look at that. You see, you wouldn't think that was a granny square, would you? It's a granny circle. Uh, but what, oh, and there's two versions. But what Hannah's saying is a lot of people go, oh, a granny squares, oh, you just have to make a blanket every time. You don't. You don't. That's a comp oh, Now I know somebody who designs computer cases all the time. She could do that, couldn't she? Notebook cover. Granny's tip. Even Granny's got tips, look. Oh, I love this. I love this. Well, no, but you see, the thing is, in my bathrooms, I've got glittery floors. So wouldn't that, in my ensuite, I've got a, a royal blue floor with bits of glitter in it. So when the light comes out, it sparkles. And the one in my main bathroom is grey glitter. And then I didn't put one in the other. The other bathrooms haven't got them in. Camping blanket, when you're camping, it up. There you go, flower, you see that's lovely, isn't it? Oh my word, single figures this book already. That's lovely, I didn't say how much it was, sorry. 14 99 that is such a lovely book, isn't it? Ooh. No, there's something sticky in it. Oh no, isn't that weird? You know you get those t-shirts that you can't iron because they've got plastic writing on them. It's not weird, because you feel it afterwards, Hannah. <laughs> right, now I've got Granny Squares Weekend. This is tw 20 quick and easy crochet projects. It's by a different person, but they look very similar, don't they? They must be the same published publisher, mustn't they? Yeah, it's the same publishers. The Guide of Master Craftsman Publication. It's only been on air once before, and that's with me and Hannah. And I don't know if Emma was here or not. <gasps> Look! Yes, it is. <laughs> Look! How can that be a crochet? Oh, I don't know enough. There we go. Oh, it's not in there. Oh, I love these. Where's the lion, though? Hang on. Yes, I know, but it's none of those. 
Oh, is it that one? No. Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait. Right, come on, look, what's the time? Oh, I love this. So you've got a chunky lap blanket, a lazy edged blanket, and you've got a chic cushion. No lion. Bolster. Another lazy edge. Well, I think it's the same one, just in a different colour, isn't it? Uh, smart doorstop. Oh, I need a new doorstop. Draft it, so you don't need one of those. Uh, cherry, oh, oh, cheery, not cherry. Cheery coaster. Pot holder. That's a pot holder, Hannah. I wonder if you can put something inside. Do you put something inside it? Oh, we'll see that in a minute. Oh, table mat. Glasses case. Nice, nice. Oh, festival bag. Fingerless mittens. Here we go. Bobble hat, Hannah. Oh, no, there, that's where you should have that. Oh, no, that. No, I'm, no, I'm thinking ha uh, Emma. That's Emma should have that because she does bandanas all the time. Here we go. Rainbow rattle and they're toy blocks. Oh. Bunting, pom-pom bunting. It's a what, what? That's why, that's, that's why it's called comforter, panda comforter. Yeah, right, getting started. Oh, we're well, not quite like that. We've got some bamboo um, handles on Sewing Street. Now, on the other one, Granny's did the tips, right? But on this one, Handy does the tips. Is that like the one that used to be on Changing Rooms? Oh, did you hear? They're bringing Changing Rooms back and Davina Call was supposed to be presenting it. And she's had to pull out. Nothing scandalous. She's had to pull out. Only because, because of COVID, they had to push it. And the dates they're now on to film, she's busy doing something. I think she's doing Masked Dancer or Masked Singer or whatever. She'd be brilliant. Still Lawrence Sorrell in Bowen, but, um, but not Davina. Yeah, look, these are lovely. Masked Dancer as well. And um, Oti, Mabu Oti Mabusi is, is one of the judges on that. You don't like Masked Singer? Oh, I love it. Oh, no, Hannah. Oh, Claire says she wants a glittery floor. Gerardine says, John, the jumper is lovely on you, but you look very hot. <laughs> it's a menopausal flush. Uh, thank you, Gerardine. It is a bit warm because we turned the air con off earlier. Uh, hang on, I was looking to see if that pot holder had something inside it. You need tension. We've got enough of that in here today, don't we? No, you don't need anything to put inside. Please be careful. Yeah, Elliot's got a headache. It's because he's sitting in the office in his shorts and his T-shirt with the heating on so high. That's why he's got a headache. Glasses case. They're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. Oh, here you go, the toy blocks. Here's the, this is how you can do the lions. Or are they lions? Are they teddy bears or lions? Does it say how you do it? It's, uh, they're called mitered squares. Oh! What, that bit's its mane there. I'd do orange rather than brown. Here we go, striped berry. This jaunty beret. Nice, isn't that cool? Oh, I like that one. Right, okay. 14, both those books are beautiful. Really, really lovely. No little crochet hook kit. It's here, these are lovely. The colours are beautiful. Goes from two millimetre to six, if I'm not mistaken. Two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six. A lovely gift, that would be. Single-ended crochet hook set. Nine crochet hooks, twenty-six pounds. Hang on, nine, uh, three nines, twenty-seven. Yeah, so they're only, they're only three pounds each, and you get that lovely. You get this out with the lovely zip hook on it and everything. Right, I've got to move now. Oh, <sighs> I'm not taking my iPad with me. I'm afraid. I'm just going to come over and do this. Now, Anna Nikopropovsky, gorgeous creature that she is.
Right, let's do the shawl first because this was the first thing on the web. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's got a bit of shape into it. Now, Gerardi, you thought it was hot before. It's lovely. I love this colour. Oh, have I got it in this colour, though? What's... The, hang on, that sock. Oh, who's put these out? <laughs> You've mixed the socks and the shawls. That one's upside down, so I don't even know what they're... Right, they're the socks. So I've got these. So this one I'm wearing, modelling, like Tom Daly. Oh, no, I've gone off Tom Daly now. Not gone off him. Gone off, not gone off him. We're not on that project. So here we go. It's called Nerida. From the Greek word nerides, which were sea nymphs. There you go. What was I saying earlier? Mermaids. Mermaids. Right, so you need five coop knit socks, yeah, by fibre spates in Malak. Oh. So hang on, I can tell you what this is. 75% fine wash super merino wool, 25% nylon. Now, it says your needles need to be two and a quarter. Let's just see what she's put on here. Mm. Need tension for this as well. I thought knitting and crochet was all about getting rid of tension. Anyway, this is the pattern for this one I've got on here. Right, the fibre spate yarn is especially hard wearing and can be machine washed at 30 degrees. Do not tumble dry it, though. Yeah, Superwash Murano, 75% with 25% nylon, which I've already said that. Now, Malachite, was it? Yeah, no, that you're thinking of Andalusite, you're thinking of now. Anyway, malachite, this I thought it was grey for some reason, but obviously not. I love, if you look at this closely, you've got so many different greens in there. It does look like a mineral gemstone. Oh, single figures on this shawl already. When was it demoed? 13th of March. 13th of March. Where are we today then? What day are we today? Oh, I know, she's on with Wendy last week. On with Wendy last week. There's Anna Nick. Oh, she's looking... Earthly, no, uh, heaven wise. Green stone. But is it the one that's got the white swirls in it and everything like that? Yeah, I remember it. I remember it now. Okay, so that's the green one in Malachite. I've also got it in. No, I couldn't say it's pale pink. Right, okay, your kunzite should not be this colour because the kunzite is the mac mixture of cherry blossom pinks, lilac and lavender. But anyway, it's beautiful, beautiful colour. Let, have we got a picture of it made up? Oh, okay, so we've no idea what that one looks like made up. Yeah, it'd be nice to see. I love it. Look at, look at the delicacy of it. It's like a fine... Can you see that picture from there, Emma? Look how fine and beautiful that is. It looks like... You know when the television show, The Cleopatras, was on? Oh, you're, you're all too young to remember. They, and they used to wear the cement pleaters, which is a company in London that pleat fabrics and everything. They would spend hours and hours and hours creating looks like that. Well, I was about to say, when I read this, because this is the mix that you want for a sock, isn't it? You want 75 with 25% nylon. So it's lovely for hard wearing short, but it's lovely and soft. I need to tell you, it's beautifully, beautifully soft. And that was good. You know what? It knits up or crochets up, because it's crochet, isn't it? It crochets up much heavier than you think, much thicker than you think. Wouldn't it? Look, let me hold it up like that. Can you see what I mean about all the beautiful? Lovely, isn't it? Right, okay, I'm putting that down because I'm not... I would have called that Rose de France, rather, but the yarn is beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Right, so now I've got socks. 30 degree wash. I'd want mine a little bit longer than that, but you can do that. Oh, hang on, right, right. Right, so I've got three, hang on, I've got three different colourways. <laughs> Ooh. 
No, our friend JJ wears socks like this all the time. Yeah, because he wears trainers, so he can't see it. I mean, obviously, that's not what it's meant to be. It's just that Anna never finished it. So we've got three colourways. We've got that one. I love this one. Oh, we're going to start with that one. Oh, it's the most limited one. Right, OK, so here's your pattern. So this is called Toton. Fibre Smace Coop Knits. Uh, you need a four and a three and a half crochet hook for this. They are underneath that on the web. Oh, I had them in that lovely kit over there. That lovely kit over there. Right, so isn't that lovely? So now what date did she do this? Same day. 13th last week with Wendy. Non-tumble dry, machine washable at 30 degrees. Now this is called Minos and this is called Sveen. Do you know what? I think the, the people who did these colours obviously were jewellers, weren't they? Oh, it's a UK company where they hand dye all their yarns. I wonder if you say it co-op knits then rather than coop. Do you remember that's meant to be because of cooperative making them? I don't know, I'll find out. It's more likely to be co-op knits, isn't it? Unless Coop's a special name for some sort of knitting. Anyway, so that's that one. Oh, I can't wait to see what the colours of these are then. So then this one here. Oh, no, we've gone off now. There's no gemstone called Tyburn, is there? Tyburn and Fleet. So we've gone off the ge we've gone off the jewelry um we've gone off the gemstone vibe now. They're beautiful colours though, and that makes this one. They're the kind of socks I'd want to wear around the house without any shoes on. Do you know what I mean? Um, please be careful if you're gonna do that. But you know what I mean, like comfy, like sitting in front of the telly, watch those. Okay, so Hannah and Emma, when they're sitting in their pyjamas on their sofa, they have designated socks that they wear when they're doing that. Okay, then this one, which is this one here. Most limited. Yeah, this obviously demoed. So this is Tartarus. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh? Tartarus. You don't get that. Oh, it's just it's right. It's fine, Gerardine. It's still in one piece. So this is Tartarus, the grey, and the blue is Anemoy. 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 Ainwa. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. No, I can't. It's beautiful, the colour though, isn't it? And this is the one that was demonstrated on the show. And this one is the most limited in stock. You don't get any of that. That's just all to one side. Better get a move on. Beautiful. By the end of this book, no, it's, it's, not, it's not what it's called. You will be able to crochet by the end of this book. Brand spanking new today by Zoe Bateman. I love those. That's one of the first things we did on and when I did a yarn lane show. Yeah, it was a Sam Sabido, wasn't it? 1499. Brand spanking new this book. Right, let's have a look. Crochet is incredibly rewarded, turning a ball of yarn into a blanket a toy or an item of clothing using just a hook and your hands. It's almost like magic. So this is all about which uh, reading your yarn band, which yarn to use, which hook to use. The, all the information in crochet journals, planning future projects, stitch and technique library, how to read a pattern. There you go, that's impor important because the amount of people go, is it US, is it UK? Yes, Hannah, you need to read this book. Reading the Patterns, How to Hold Your Yarn. 
chain stitch. Oh, I can, I can do chain stitch. Working in a stitch versus a space. There's all your stitches. Can't wait to show you about all these. Oh, I don't know what that is, though. Fake stitches. Hmm. Joining a new, new... It's lovely. All the terms that we talk about all the time. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's not taking anything for granted whatsoever. Brand spanking you say. I need to get to the projects. Oh, third of the stock has gone straight into baskets. I'm not surprised. Remember, if you checked out on Swing Street earlier, your P&P's paid for. You don't pay another P&P if you've already bought. So if you came in and bought the early birds at 8 o'clock this morning for £4, and then you're buying this, you only pay the one P&P. If you came in and bought the last, if you found the last um, 5 60 you'll only pay £3.95. Ear warmers! They're not on her ears, are they, that one? <gasps> Cup cozies. This is very contemporary Scandi, isn't it, this? It's like very one of those dramas. Hannah quite fancy him. She can't even see his face. But even the photos are kind of a bit um, Scandi, aren't they? I love that hat. Little Paul's got a hat like that. Maybe you should just fancy it. You and little Paul make such a lovely couple. Ribbed pom-pom scarf. No, I, no, no, it's, it's funny you should say that because I was thinking something along the same line just today, but not quite as dramatic. Colour, oh, look! Now, isn't it funny how we always say to you, oh, can see the feet, can see the feet. That's <laughs> a glasses case and a gadget case. There it is closed. Washcloth. Oh! Now, do you know what? I've just bought a new collection of makeup and it's called War Paint for Men, right? And it's makeup they've done specially for men. I don't know if you've noticed, I had it on today. Nobody here noticed. But they send you um, little things like that, to reusable things to wash your face with us. Well, so they should at the price, but there you go. Zipped pouches. Oh, imagine sewing a zip into some crochet. No, oh, they're very arty, I like this. That's called a mustard pouch. The mustard might dribble out. Oh, look! Sleep masks. No, I think that'd be lovely. There's no um, there's no elastic on them though. But then you see, maybe you don't want elastic because elastic might dig into the back of your head. Wall hanging. That's a bit macrame-ish, isn't it? We had macrame on last week, didn't we? Or was it this week? Plant pot covers. They go hang up. I've got that plant. Oh, they're not easy to look after. And then I repotted it. Mine stayed that big for years and years and years. Then I repotted it, right? And it's huge. It fills up the whole bathroom window now. But they're meant to flower. And mine's never, ever, ever flowered. Oh, are they? Oh, no, I've just got a great big one in the bath. I tell you what, where it is, right? In my house, right? Really badly designed. The bathroom, the main bathroom house, is above the front door of the house. You've got windows, windows, windows. The one right above the front door is my... And the toilet is right in front of the window. So I've put a huge one of those plants in the window so people can't see in when the light's on. Storage baskets. Here you go. They're like the ones Sam Speedo made, aren't they? Produce bags. Oh, there you go. Potatoes. Garlic! Hannah wants this book now. Oh, look, a market bag. Is that a Savoy? I think that's a Savoy cabbage, isn't it, when I used to work on my fruit and vegetable? I said Savoy, not a boy. Oh, <gasps> look. Oh. Look. I have to say, it doesn't have to be a penguin. It could be a monk. And then, oh, oh, I like you, Zoe Bateman. Freelance crafter, teaching craft workshops, creating craft-based projects, clients. Fibre craft, she has had her work featured in magazine, crochet piece and art expert, and taught hundreds of people how to crochet. For more, go and see Zoe at 2Cute2Quilt. Quit. Oh, 
too cute to quit. I'm not sure if that's quite right. Anyway, what a beautiful book, 14.99. What's the time look? I've spent way too long looking at that. What do I look at next? Three hundred and fifty. This one looks a bit like the one that Susan Briscoe does on quilting, doesn't it? Three hundred crochet tips and techniques and trade secrets. A compendium of crochet by Jan Eaton. That's felting, that one there, isn't it? Oh look, fold out this flap thing. You can that's your measurement of your hook, look. And the tape measure down the side. How clever is that? That's only the back page. Oh, she is called Too Cute to Quit. Oh, that cat. Your Instagram's logged on on the computer. No, she can't do that anymore. She's living with her boyfriend now. Look. Buttons. Bouton. 350 different techniques in here. One a page, look, it looks like. Must be more, must be more than one a page, actually. Because it's not 350 pages. Oh, <gasps> look. Everything. And this one's got photos as well as the writing. Oh, it's a bit risque, dear girl. Oh, it's not a top. Oh, it's his. No, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. She's got a dress on. It's very, uh, style-wise, the dress should have been a darker colour. So you can see the dress went up like that, like a bustier. To me, it just looks like she's got a cardio on with nothing underneath. Beautiful. Yeah. They'd want one of these over your heads as well, Hannah. Anyway. But how many minutes have I got to go? Have I got to go? I've got one book that's on the website, got some little scissors on the website, and I've got these clover. You must buy these. You must buy these. They are called Clover Quick Locking Stitch Markers. F 14 99. All of our guests use stitch markers, even Wendy Orlando. Some people just tie bits of yarn, don't they? But these are so easy because then you can unclick, unclick them and put them, use them again. Yeah, if you tied a bit of yarn, then it knotted. You'd be a bit. Messed up, wouldn't you? Anyway, for, me, miffed, even. 14 99. Now, when's Yarn Lane back, then? What day is it today? Oh, it's me on Friday, and it is... Catherine Wright. Ladies what? Ladies Spring Knit. She's also joined on Sewing Street that day as well. But then I've also got somebody else on Friday as well. Jane Greenoff's on on Friday as well. Busy day on Friday. That's, that's on Sewing Street. That's on Sewing Street. Just Catherine Wright on Yarn Lane. But I'm going to go now then. Uh, make sure you check out. All of these are flying out. Absolutely flying out. So please. Oh, blue. You've got to be really careful now if you want the blues one. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for your company today. I'm going to take this off now because I'm getting a bit hot. I haven't got a boiled egg today. They didn't have any in Tesco. It's got hummus and celery today. Um, I'll be back in on Friday, Saturday and Sunday this week. Uh, and it's the last John Scott show tomorrow. So uh, take care of yourself and I'll see you on, on Sewing Street on Friday. Oh, and Yarn Lane on Friday.